Meteorologist Mary Kate Kleist back now with our first alert forecast and we're heating up. Yes, we are getting a little more humid, Marie. Shed Aquarium looking inviting today. Dry today, dry tomorrow, but we're looking at a storm threat for Thursday and for Friday. Even on the other side of it, a few showers may linger into the weekend. But already, Storm Prediction Center keeping an eye on our area, highlighting it at a level 2 on a scale of 1 to 5 for severe weather chances on Thursday. So we better enjoy today while well, it's nice and quiet. So winds are light, skies are bright, 80 degrees is our current temperature. Maybe a few fair weather clouds. There's a disturbance over Missouri trying to move into the picture, but this ridge of high pressure is acting like a great big roadblock. So only some scattered clouds from that. We don't expect any rain today. It's going to be dry. The rain really ramps up Thursday, so a 90% chance on Thursday. Also into Friday scattered storms as this system moves in. Now it could come in two parts. I want to give you a look. Thursday morning showers and storms, but then the Thursday evening rush models are hinting that the atmosphere will recover enough to spark some powerful storms in the evening. So it's possible we could have two rounds of strong storms on Thursday. It really depends what happens in those hours in between. And we're not done there. Friday, more storm energy moving in from the west. This is a slow moving parent area of low pressure. So it's slow to move. It could create some very heavy rain in spots before it departs. And even it's going to hang around the eastern Great Lakes. That's why I'm keeping showers in Saturday and Sunday, although lighter. So rain amounts could top out up to an inch and three quarters in some places, possibly two inch totals if you get under any of those heftier downpours. Today is dry and quiet, 84 degrees, little muggy for us tonight, 64 for a mild overnight low. So dry for these two. Then on Thursday, we put an alert tab on it just because both rush hours could be affected with some downpours and thunderstorms. Then on Friday, we will see scattered storms around. It's because this is a slow moving system other side of it leaves us with instability uh, showers both Saturday and into Sunday.